Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you with SCO3 Lewis structure. It's a chemical formula for selenium trioxide and to determine its Lewis structure we shall first look at the total number of valence electrons. Here both selenium and oxygen atoms have 6 valence electrons in its outer shell and hence we are going to multiply this number by 4 so in total we have 24 valence electrons for this molecule. Now we will place selenium atom in the center and oxygen atoms will be placed around selenium atom like this. To show a bond between these atoms we are going to place a pair of electron and doing that we will be using up 6 out of 24 valence electrons. We are now left with 18 more and uh, if you look here closely each oxygen atom requires 6 valence electrons to have a complete octet and hence we are going to place 6 valence electrons around each oxygen atom. Now. Um, if you look over here, selenium atom only has 6 valence electrons and requires 2 more electrons to have a complete octet. However, selenium is an exception to uh, the octet rule and can actually accommodate more than 8 valence electrons. So, instead of sharing just one uh, pair of electrons from this oxygen atom, we are going to uh, shift the pairs of electrons from each oxygen atom and that way selenium atom will have 12 valence electrons in its outer shell and all the oxygen atoms will have 8 valence electrons in its outer shell. This is the Lewis structure of SCO3 in which selenium atom forms double bonds with 3 oxygen atoms. I hope this video helps you to understand that and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.